What was that? Someone there? Over here! That's your bit, huh? Someone there? We're already off. <laughs> so we're done.
Word on the street is Golden Glow's been hit. Good job, lad. Let me take a look at what you found. Arangarth sold Golden Glow? What's that idiot thinking? He has no idea the extent of Maven's fury when she's been cut out of a deal. But I'm certain he'll find out. If only the parchment had the buyer's name instead of this odd symbol. Any idea what that might be? Blast. Well, I'll check my sources and speak to Mercer. But for now, you're off to speak to Maven Blackbriar. She asked for you by name. Don't sound so eager. It's not a social visit. It's business. That's between you and Maven, and I prefer to keep it that way. Don't worry about it. Maven's business dealings usually involve quite a bit of gold for her people. <laughs> of course, your pay. <laughs> You're smart as a whiplot. Keep doing right by us, and there's plenty more where that came from. Until next we meet, Maven wants to see you right away. I suggest you head right over. Don't you have better things to do than disturb me? I wanted to say something. Better be important, I'm quite busy. I've never seen anyone with skills like yours. I just wanted to let you know that if... My father told me he found me as a young boy, in the wreckage of a ship that sank off of the coast near Solitude. All he found in my pocket was a tiny smooth stone inscribed with some sort of strange runes. No one does. I've even taken the damn thing to the College of Winterhold. I must have spent every last coin I've made with the guild trying to find out what it means. Perhaps they could be nonsense, inane scribbles done by someone in idle boredom. But if not, if they actually mean something, they might tell me where I'm from, what ship I was on, everything. Actually, the fisherman who found me, the man I call my father, gave it to me. Thought it was fitting, I suppose. I never changed it. I appreciate that. Be seeing you. Hey, let's talk a second. Come back and see me if you ever need pickpocket trap. I think you're all right. Pull up a chair, my friend. This is quite... When I started out in this business, I wasn't really... I didn't mean to imply I was earning an honest living, either. With my lock-picking aptitude, I was a natural at jailbreaking. I made a great deal of gold. It's where a client pays you to get... Usually it's to free someone the client cares about, and sometimes to... Well, to kill someone on their behalf. Either way, the trick was in the escape. And that's where my strengths came in handy. Well, as a jailbreaker, you work alone. No guild to back you up. I'd do jobs for the Thieves' Guild and the Dark Brotherhood, but if things didn't go as planned, I was on my own. And the 
last jailbreak I attempted. After that, I promised myself I'd never do it again. I don't know. I think I realized that out in the world, my skills would bring me more wealth as a thief rather than an assassin. Killing someone in a jail is much easier than what the Dark Brotherhood deals with. I guess I wanted to play it safe. I already knew Delvin. I asked if I could join up, and that was that. I'm sure we'll speak again. making waves around here. I like that. If you ever want to talk about anything, you let me know. I'll point you to the first and last person you're ever going to need to talk to. To Nelia. She's the guild's fan. Treat her right, and she'll make you rich. Try and rip her off. You'll have the whole guild to answer to. <laughs> what do you need? Come back and see me. If you ever need pickpocket training. Hey, hey! You're pretty tough. I joined up with them maybe ten years ago. Small clan, maybe twenty men. We'd raid villages, rob caravans. But it was always about the killing for them. Don't get me wrong. The first few years with that clan were some of the best years of my life. All the food I could eat, all the wine I could drink, and all the women I could bed. We raided a caravan one spring. I think it was a few wagons with some farmers moving to a new village. They didn't put up much of a fight. All that was left were the women and the children. Then the leader of our clan, Garthek, ordered us to kill the rest. No, we usually let them go. I refused to do it, and Garthek ordered the clan to kill me as well. Luckily, I had made some friends with the clan who immediately sided with me. We tore each other to pieces. After it was over, those of us that remained simply went our separate ways. I left his head on a pike at the wreckage of the caravan. Never knew what became of the rest of the clan that survived. I suppose they moved on, just like I did. Always a pleasure. Have our scouts come up with any information on these reports of dragons? As Yar Leila's house guard. Yes, my lady. That unpleasantness at Helgen's... Welcome to Riften, traveler. I... Well, I feel Ulfric's cause is just. Party. My concern is for the people of the Rift. How can they continue to lead their already meager lives? My heart goes out to them. If only I... With the Stormcloaks at his back, Ulfric's poised to rid Skyrim of the Empire's forces and invalidate our involvement with the White Gold Concordat. Many have died taking up arms for this cause. I fear that the land will be stained with blood for years to come. Surely you're aware when the smoke... One of the t To the Stormcloaks, this was viewed as the moment when the Empire became unworthy of the allegiance of any... We're all eager to see... As one of our... Sadly, they're proving elusive, but I have confidence that Maven won't give up until this city has been rid of them all. I want you to speak to the Welcome city guard. Welcome to Mistvale Keep. Make sure there's a I'm Jarl Layla's steward, Anuri. As steward, I also... 
lately I've had my hands full suppressing these ridiculous accusations of corruption in the keep. There are those that believe the Jarl does nothing for this city. I can assure you that this is entirely false. We are fully in control of everything. Yes, my lady. I've also no taken No offense. A liberty in preparing because I did something not a soul. Would... I dared Just speak of the Empire and the lies that have been You're spread by Ulfric, the leader of the Stormcloaks. Now my mother stripped me of my heritage and incarcerated me here like a common criminal, and my brother has all but disowned me. Be wary what you say around here, friend. You'll find not all... Ulfric only cares about one thing. Ulfric. He's ordained himself the future High King of Skyrim and steps on anyone that gets in his... He's begun... His cause may be true, but the man is a lie. All he holds in his heart is lust for the throne. I'd better get going. Ain't no doubt about it. The thief's Out of my back, way. The son of the Jarl has no time for idle conversation with travelers. If you must know, I was practicing in the yard when the guard I was sparring with fainted when I specifically told him to duck. My blade bit right into the stonework next to the keep, and needed serious repairs. Thankfully, our smith, Balamond, works wonders. In fact, if you'd fetch my blade from him, I'd be m Thank you. Do hurry, please. Every day- Who knows- Thank goodness Mother is keeping a level head about you everything. You could say the Ratway is the if city my brother under sailed the city. and had his way, Dark, they'd dangerous. be flying in no imperial colors by now. Floor. Sure, sure. I'm a dirty beggar. Why would you... People of Riften, heed my words. The return of the dragons is not mere coincidence. This is one of the signs. The signs that Lady Mara is displeased with your yeah. constant inebriation. what's your problem? Put down your flagons filled with your vile liquids and embrace the teachings so of the handmaid the of time. Hmm. No, no, is that confidence I hear? Or is it arrogance? Strange how often they are confused. Some sort of an understanding. You have to understand. Must be it's been a long time since Brynjolf sent me anyone I can rely Enough, on. We've all heard of the dragons and everything. Faith. No need I don't have faith in anyone. All I care well, about is cause and effect. Did the job get done and was it done? I hope not. not I out. have a competitor Just called Hunt. I also want to know how they managed to get the place up and running so quickly. Head to the Bannered Mare in Whiterun and look for Malus Machius. He'll fill you in on all the details. One more time, in case I wasn't clear. You butcher this job, and you will be sorry.
Need something? I ain't done nothing. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm This is beds. a local favorite and one of the first songs I ever learned. Ragnar the Red. Can't a man drink in peace? I'm gonna keep this short, because we've got a lot to do. Haunting Brew's owner, Sabjorn, is about to hold a tasting for White Run's Captain of the Guard, and we're going to poison the mead. No. The meadery has quite a pest problem, and the whole city knows about it. Pet. You're going to happen by and lend poor old Sabjorn a helping hand. He's going to give you the poison to use on the pests, but you're also going to dump it into the brewing vat. Maven and I... Now get going before Sabjorn grows a brain and hires someone else to do the dirty work. But then Be careful. You remember, Quiet did Ragnar the Red when he met the shield maiden Matilda who said... You know what's wrong with Skyrim these days? Everyone is obsessed with death. at can't you see I have problems here are you kidding me look at this place I'm supposed to be holding a tasting of the new hunting brew reserve for the captain of the guard if he sees the meadery in this state I'll be ruined oh really and I don't suppose you just do it out of the kindness of your heart would you I hope you're not expecting to get paid until the job's done 
Okay, okay. No need to make rash decisions. Here's half. You get the rest when the job's done. My only demand is that these vermin are permanently eliminated before my reputation is completely destroyed. I bought some poison. I was going to have my lazy good-for-nothing assistant Malice handle it, but he seems to have vanished. If you plant this in the vermin's net, don't come back until every one of those things are dead. Now I've got to clean up this mess.
was something we discovered. Well, it's about time. I had to stall the captain until you were finished. You'll just have to wait until after the captain's finished. I suppose you can wait around if you must. Well, Sabjorn, now that you've taken care of your little pest problem, how about I get a taste of some of your mead? Help yourself, my lord. It's my finest brew yet. I call it Hunting Brew Reserve. I think you'll find it quite pleasing to your palate. Oh, come now. This is mead, not some wine to be sipped and savored. By the eight. What? What's in this? I... I don't know. What's wrong? You assured me this place was clean. I'll see... see to it that you remain in irons for the rest of your days. No, please. I don't understand. Silence, idiot. I should have known better to trust this place after it's been riddled with filth. I beg you, please. This is not what it seems. You. You're in charge here until I can sort this all out. It will be my pleasure. And you. You're coming with me to Dragon's Reach. We'll see how quickly your memory clears in the city's prisons. Now, move. Look, I assure you this is all just a huge misunderstanding. I said move. Farewell, Sabjorn. I don't think that could have gone any better. Anything else you need before you head back to Riften? So, Maven wants to hunt down Sabjorn's private partner, huh? You're welcome to take a look around Sabjorn's office. He keeps most of his papers stashed in his desk. Here, this should help. I thought it would be better to leave some of the details out of our previous discussion. Didn't want to risk you walking away from the job. Besides, you've done Maven a favor getting rid of him, and saved me from wasting coin hiring someone else to do it later. Start changing it over to the Blackbriar Meadery West as soon as possible. That was Maven's part of the deal. She's put me in charge of keeping the mead flowing, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. If you're in the area, and you ever need anything fenced, you just let me know. Remember to put it... What the? I can't believe that worked. I can't believe that worked. I can't believe that worked. Remember to put... Good word with Maven for me.
can't believe that worked. I can't believe that worked. Please help me. I'm going to lose my job if you let me. Yeah, what's your problem? Back off. This action's all mine. No room for anyone else in the guild on this one. Why should I bother? I've already made a bunch of coin off of it. Oh, tell you what. I'll give you a share right now if you forget the whole thing. Whoa, whoa, calm down. Let's just think about this for a moment. You win. Tell Shadra he can forget the debt. Maybe I'll see you around the guild. I trust you have good... This doesn't tell me much. The only thing that could identify Sabion's partner is this odd little symbol. Well, whoever this mysterious marking represents, they'll regret starting a war with me. You should bring this information to the Thieves' Guild immediately. There's also the matter of your payment. I believe you'll find this more than adequate for your services. The Blackbriar family has always been allied with the Guild. Our connections with the Empire and within Skyrim make for a perfect fit. I dare say the Guild owes its survival as much to my family as it does to its own people. Out of my way.
come here a second. Yeah, I guess I have a minute. What do you want? Word on the street is that poor Sabjorn has found himself in White Run's prison. How unfortunate for him. Exactly. Now you're beginning to see how our little system works. Maven sent word that you discovered something else while you were out there. Something important to the guild? Then this is beyond coincidence. First Arangoth, and now Sabjorn. Someone's trying to take us down by driving a wedge between Maven and the guild. Mercer thinks he knows a way to identify this new thorn in our side. He wants to meet with you right away. And if I were you, I'd hurry. I've never seen him this angry before. Yeah, I guess I have a minute. What do you want? Ah, there you are. I've consulted my contacts regarding the information you recovered from Golden Glow Estate, but no one can identify that symbol. It would seem our adversary is attempting to take us apart indirectly by angering Maven Blackbriar. Very clever. You jest, but they've been able to avoid identification for years. They're obviously well-funded, driven, and patient. Just don't mistake my admiration for complacency. Our nemesis is going to pay dearly. Because the part his real name is Gullamai. Gullamai is our inside man at the East Empire Company in Solitude. I'm betting he acted as a go-between for the sale of Golden Glow Estate and that he can finger our buyer. Get out there, shake him down, see what you come up with. Talk to Brynjolf before you leave if you have any questions. Yeah, you need something? I can't believe Gullum Eye's mixed up in all this. That Argonian couldn't find his tail with both hands. Don't get me wrong. He could scam a beggar out of his last septum, but he's no mastermind. Trouble? Huh. He's one of the most stubborn lizards I've ever met. You have your work cut out for you. You're going to have to... If that fails, follow him and see what he's up to. If I know Gullamai, he's in way over his head and you'll be able to use it as leverage. I'm glad to see you're embracing our methods. It would be a waste to lose a contact at the East Empire Company before we had the entire story. Just keep on Gollumai's tail, and he's bound to step into something he can't scrape off his boot. Good luck in solitude. Keep hmm? Gollumai alive. Keep to the shadows. So, you're Brynjolf's new protege, eh? It's one thing to say you've got the skills to be a thief. It's another to actually use them. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Before we begin, I want to make two things perfectly clear. One, I'm the best infiltrator this rat hole of the guild's got. So if you think you're here to replace me, you're dead wrong. And two, you follow my lead and do exactly as I say. 
No questions, no excuses. Bring your fight. Let me get. See, that kind of attitude comes from someone who wants to get rich and stuff. So, if you've got the nerve, I've got plenty of it. Look around you. A few decades ago, look, I know the others think I'm a bit dull for saying stuff like this, but I'm gonna give it you straight. Something out there is piss drunk mad at us. I don't know who or what it is, but it's beyond just you and me. We've been cursed. I'll tell you what we... That's we. All you need to do is ask, and we can both come out of this smelling like a rose. Years ago, the Guild used to have a foothold in every major city in Skyrim. You wouldn't dare even lift an apple without checking with us. When things started going downhill around here, it became difficult to keep it all together. It wasn't... By doing these extra jobs, and put thanks to Maven Blackbright, if we gain the confidence of someone very influential, the only way we get that special job is by doing smaller ones in those cities until we catch their ear. I had, if break-ins are more your thing, go talk to Vex. What's the matter? Afraid of getting your hands dirty? So you're Before we begin, I want to make two things perfectly well, clear. Like you and I are have to get One, very well I'm the best infiltrator this rat hole of a guild's got. So if you think you're here to replace me, you're dead wrong. And two, you follow my lead and do exactly as I say. No questions, no excuses. Then we understand each other. Good. Now, it's time to get your feet wet. And I don't want to waste a lot of time talking about anything but business. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it for you. We're Who knows? Old Delvin thinks it's some kind of curse. I think he's crazy. If you want my opinion, I'd say it's just plain old bad luck. You can get out. And while you're at it, make a little bit of coin on the side. Not a bad deal, eh? These jobs aren't gonna finish themselves, you know. Got lots of jobs available. Intra Did If you need marksman training, and you've got the coin, I'm ready to teach you. Yes? What did you need?
Ahí. Still have quite a good bit of jobs available. If you so you're the new recruit, huh? Well, looks like you and I are gonna have to get very well acquainted. I'm the fence down here. You come by anything you don't exactly own, and I'll pay you some coin for it. Minus a little slice for the guild, of course. I can also provide a few supplies useful to our trade now and again. First, sure. How about? Look, I've been. At the end of the day, you'll find that all we care. Good. Here's your armor. Just make sure you put it to good use. Why don't you take a look at some of my merchandise and we'll see what kind of deal we can make. 